What the f Why is there a f camera pointed in the fitting room? You creep! What the f <laughs> Alrighty, welcome back to another part of Let's Play. Shit, I forgot what the game was called. Oh, The Sims Life Stories. Okay, <laughs> it's been a few days, guys. It's been a few days. So, today is Saturday. So, what are we doing today? We are going to be focusing on cleaning the house and making it nice. She's got the paper. She's going to be doing a little bit of reading. Then the crossword puzzle, make a paper airplane. We'll have her make her bed and she can make the twin bed. This shower looks like it needs to be clean, but it actually doesn't. The game says it's clean, but it looks a little grimy on those walls. Speaking of which, I have to clean my own bathroom. My shower is not in good condition, if we're being honest. But this toilet, on the other hand, does look a little dirty looking. We need to clean that bathroom sink. Oh my god, everything in this house is dirty. Both toilets are dirty. I think we cleaned the countertops in the last part. The stove and the sink are good, so we shouldn't need to deal with that. Alright, speed three through this girl. Read the paper. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, it puts her fun up, too. That's really cool. I didn't realize that. Well, we can't have her answer the phone because she's not gonna be able to do it in time. I gotta have her do that more often. Reading the paper puts her fun up, and I'm kinda surprised. Oh, god. Now she's not in the mood to do anything. No! Now she doesn't wanna clean because we had her do this way too much. And she's, like, starving right now. There you go. Make the bed. She doesn't even feel like cleaning. She is not in the mood. Oh my god, she might starve to death. You need to make some lunch. Go make some lunch meat sandwiches. Hurry up before you starve. We don't need you starving to death. God, who the fuck is calling? They won't stop calling. Hello? Stop fucking calling me. Go away. Yo, girl, eat fucking three sandwiches. Oh my god, big stomach and everything. Three sandwiches. You know what? And she's still not full. After three sandwiches, let's have her eat four. <laughs> Who the hell eats four sandwiches? Oh my god, that is insane. Four fucking sandwiches, guys. Four sandwiches. That's one thing I definitely don't like about this game. It just, it requires so much food to get full, especially if you're, like, kind of hungry, you know? Yeah, we need to clean the freaking stove. We need to clean the fish tank. She did clean the toilet. The shower's fine. The sink's fine. Why does she keep flush- Oh my god, she keeps flushing the fish down the toilet. Why does she keep doing that? Do they keep dying? Dying? This is like the fifth time she's replaced Aunt Sharon's fish. She is going to say something. She's going to get back and she's going to go, oh, these fish don't look familiar. You must have got new fish. Yeah, we got new fish like fucking six times. It's ridiculous. Okay, go shower and use the restroom. Wash your hands. I think we'll actually have her just get right into bed and head to sleep. I really don't know what else we have to do. She doesn't have a goal right now. It says she's feeling a little bit better. Dylan is very nice and sweet, but he has yet to convince me that he's not the same immature boy he was in high school. Yeah, that's what I was saying. In the last part, he's definitely coming off very, like, desperate. And I'm getting immature vibes from him. So, yeah. I don't know if we can trust him. Like, he's definitely, you know, someone to mess around with and have some fun with in the sheets. But to be more than that, I really don't know. At least not right now. It says, besides, I can't get over Mickey Smith. I feel so bad about what happened. I just hope with time he can forgive me. Well, let's call him up on the phone and see if he wants to come over. I don't see anything wrong with that. Maybe we'll do that first thing in the morning since she does have off today on Sunday. Yeah, she's off today. She actually might get a promotion the next time she goes to work, so we might actually get one on Monday if we're in a good enough mood. I also think our aspiration meter will need to be higher, too. Girl, make the bed. Don't be like me. Make the bed. Make the bed. Clean up those sandwiches. She hasn't talked with anyone in a long time. She needs some social. I would call, but it is early in the morning. No one's probably up at this hour. So you know what we'll do in the meantime? No, I don't want to scrap it. No. This was the portrait that we were doing of Dylan. I want her to keep doing that. Riley has a day off. Yes, we already knew that. And now that it's 8 o'clock, I think we'll head over here and we'll try to call Mickey and we'll see what he says. I'm like so nervous. Oh my God. Who is it? Here, come answer. I want to see who's calling. Who the fuck is that? Who's that guy? I don't remember him. Well, she does need social, so I'm going to let her talk to him for a little while. But I wanted her to call Mickey. Mickey Smith. Alright, hang up the fucking phone. Bye, bitch. Bye. Alright, we're gonna call Mickey. It still says we have a heart around him. Let's see what he says. Let's just talk to him. I'm not speaking with you, Riley. Click. He fucking hung up on us. That slick little bitch. Today, a little birdie told me that Mickey and Agora are getting... 
No fucking way. Are you serious? How long ago was it that that drama had gone down with us? It's only been like two sim days since we broke up. What do you mean Mickey and Agora are getting married? I'm sorry, but if they're getting married two days after we broke up, they were fucking while we were together. That's literally all that that means. They were together and they were fucking. I'm sorry. I don't know any other way around that. I don't know what else that could possibly mean. That's usually what happens. Olivia Rodrigo once said, it took you two weeks to go off and date her. You didn't cheat, but you're still a traitor. But I don't care. He's, he definitely cheated. <laughs> he definitely was cheating. I'm sorry. It wasn't even it took two weeks to go off and date her. It was took two sim days to go off and marry her, bitch. Oh no, we need to fight this bitch. We need to fight Agora too. We need to smack her as well. Look, the first thing she did was she called up her other friend. She called up Fiona and she was like, girl, did you fucking hear? He is seeing this Agora bitch again. Why am I holding my positive Rota test? This is old. Actually, I just tested negative the other day, so I finally don't have it anymore, but I don't know why I'm holding it. I'm like fiddling with it. It's fun to fiddle with. I need like something to like fidget with when I'm at the computer. Helps my anxieties. All right. Well, anyways, we talked with him. He hung up with us. Then we found out that this bitch is fucking getting married. Oh no. I need. Okay. You guys, this is, this is, it's going down. We're yelling timber. Sai, I can't get my mind off of what happened with Mickey. I'll call and chat with Dylan to see if he would like to go shopping with me. She's basically just using this dude to feel better. She went into bed with him. They fucked. She felt better about it. And now she wants to go out shopping with him. I don't think she really likes this dude. I don't think she really loves him. He's kind of just like there to make her feel better. You know, he's like emotional support. He's an emotional support human, basically. <laughs> I feel bad because once she feels better and once she actually fully gets over Mickey because we knew that she was, you know, in love with him, she's not going to want Dylan anymore. She's going to throw his ass to the side. I already know that's gonna happen. Maybe I can get him to buy me a new dress or four. So now you want to use him for money? Oh my god. I remember in one of the last parts, she had like some thought bubble over her head about money or a check or cash. So my first thought was, okay, maybe she's a gold digger. And now she's saying she wants him to buy it. So, okay, she's definitely using his ass for money. And you know what? If that's what she wants to do, then we'll do that. Now look at this shit. She's also got to go to the eye doctor too. And she probably doesn't even have insurance. So she wants him to pay for that too. <laughs> yeah, she's becoming a gold digger. Our Sim is a gold digger. Oh, she's like, I want you to pay for my prescription. I want you to buy me makeup. You can take me to Sephora. We can go to Morphe. And then after that, I want to go out to the spa. Oh, and I need a doctor's appointment. I haven't had a checkup in a minute. So you're going to go out and pay for that as well. <laughs> she's telling all this to Fiona. I'm going to use his ass and everything. He's going to buy me all the goods. Now she wants to call Dylan up. Oh my gosh. No, I want to call that bitch Agora up. I was just talking in the other video about how we haven't seen her or heard from her in a while. But you know what? Before we do anything, let's call Mickey back up. He hung up on us once. Let's call him again. If he answers again, is he really going to hang up on us a second time though? Like, would you like to talk or invite him over? Let's just talk. I'm not speaking with you, Riley. Bitch, just ignore me. You see me popping up on the fucking caller ID. Why do you keep answering if you don't want to talk to me, bitch? All right, let's do it again. Let's invite you over this time. I want to see you face to face. Let's talk about this in person. I think you know why I'd rather not. Okay, we're calling Agora now. Patch me through to this bitch. Where's this Agora bitch? I should have fucking known because Agora and Mickey live right down the street from each other. They were probably fucking like while we were together. I bet he was balls deep in our nasty ass pussy while we were together and everything. Agora doesn't own a phone. You can't call someone without a phone. So why the fuck is he marrying her? She's dirt poor. She can't even afford a fucking phone. She probably doesn't even have her own house. She's probably fucking living in her mom's basement still or some shit. Like, girl, you're like 35. Move the fuck out already. Come on. You can only sap off of mommy and daddy for so long. All right. Anyways, let's call Dylan up and see what he's got to say. Actually, before we do that, let's just take a shower. Why is this toilet dirty? We just cleaned this this morning. What the hell happened? No one even used the fucking toilet. It just got dirty on its own. Are you serious? Yeah, scrub that shit. You need one of those Mr. Clean magic erasers. That's why you're having a problem here, girl. That's why you're struggling to keep things clean. Probably using that great value soap. All right, let's call up Dylan. What's his last name? Kincaid. Dylan Kincaid. All right, let's talk with him. Sorry, can't talk. I have to go to uh, work. Cl what the fuck is going on? What the... 
fuck is going on? I'm getting sick of him. I'm getting sick of everybody. Dylan won't talk to me. Agora doesn't have a fucking phone. Fiona's annoying as shit. She never even wants to hang out with us. And now our side piece is making up excuses and then hangs up on us? I'm um, okay. That was strange. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go to the corner boutique on my own. Too bad about the dresses, though. No, not too bad about the dresses. Just because he doesn't want to go with you doesn't mean he can't still pay for your dresses. You could totally go steal his wallet or something. Go steal his credit card and charge him yourself, girl. No, we're not gonna be a thief. We're not going to do that. We do have a new goal, though. We want to head off to the boutique. That's gonna give us some aspiration. Look at all her wants are just filled with fucking Dylan's face. Invite Dylan over. Talk to Dylan. Appreciate Dylan. All right, let's try this one more time. Let's call him one more time. Maybe he didn't hang up on us, okay? Maybe he didn't hang up on us. Maybe the call was disconnected. Maybe he went into a tunnel. I don't know what happened, but let's call him up and let's see what he's got to say. All right, let's try this one more time. Let's call him. Would you like to invite this sim over or just talk? All right, let's try this again. Let's talk. Sorry, can't talk. I have to go to work. Didn't you say you had to go to work like fucking an hour ago? Are you at work yet? Are you just lying? No, we need to pull up at his house. We need to fucking pull up at his house because at this point, this is kind of getting crazy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to head to the boutique. I like feel so bad for her because we keep having to call for transportation. Like, why does this bitch not own a car? We need to like buy a car or something or Aunt Sharon should have let us use her car. Like, why doesn't she have a car? We're gonna take the taxi and we are going to head to the boutique. A taxi will swing by shortly. We are kind of hungry. Should we eat out or should we save some money and just eat here? Hmm. I don't know. But while we wait, we're going to continue this painting. That's what we'll do. All right. Riley's story. We're going to go to the corner boutique and there's our van popping up out of nowhere. All right. Let's just finish this painting later then. Alrighty. We have arrived. Right now we have no goal in mind. Why do I have a feeling we're going to see like Agora or some shit here? I have this strange feeling we're going to see Agora and we're going to see Mickey here together and they're going to like start making out and then we're going to have to get into a fight. So many clothes, so little money. I need to budget my cash wisely. So I think I'll try on just two outfits, just two outfits. That's it. All right, let's try this. Let's see what we can do. Jeez, we're on a budget and we're at the boutique. We should have just went to fucking Kohl's and used Kohl's cash. It would have been cheaper. All right, let's try on some clothes here. God, I wish that we could buy clothes in the sims for like this like actually being able to try them on and then standing in line at the register i miss the standing in line at the register i hate the whole like fucking purchasing on the ipad thing like yes it's modern but i just it's so like come on like even in today's like modern world like with today's standards we still like stand in line at the fucking register you know all right we're gonna change up our style a little bit we're gonna get a little more seductive I want to have her wear like a little less, but it really isn't anything like too revealing. They're all just like tank tops. Yeah, I don't think we can really wear anything else. We could have her in shorts. Let's try on some shorts. We'll do, well, there's like these medium shorts and then there's like the short shorts. We'll try on the short shorts. Oh, I love that she actually takes the clothes and goes to the fitting room. I love this. What the fuck? Why is there a fucking camera pointed in the fitting room? You creep! Peeping Tom! What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god. That is invasive. I saw it go... Neat. <laughs> <laughs> Why have I never noticed this before? Oh my god. Who is watching us change our clothes? That is fucking fucked up. That is so fucking twisted. Look at it. No. Oh my gosh. They watched us get down into our panties and everything. Oh my gosh. The manager's probably in the back beating his fucking meat and everything. <laughs> Let me shut up. Oh my God. I'm being so loud. My fucking window's open. That is disgusting. The manager's probably back there with fucking bottle of lotion and tissues and everything. Nasty as hell. And these poor workers don't even know. Is that just like them making sure we don't steal? That is like disgusting. Why would they do that? This game is unhinged. Unfreaking hinged. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what's the goal? So many clothes, so little money. I need to budget my cash. 
So what do we need to do? Okay, so she wants to try on outfits. So she's not actually buying anything. We just have to try them on. Who the fuck is this? Movies? You want to go to the movies? Well, are you paying? Because we have no money. So we can't go to the movies. Hurry up and try this stuff on before this store closes. Oh, no. It's closing. Hurry up, girl. Run, 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 run. Run to the fitting room. Let's try on the orange top and see what this looks like. Nasty. I cannot believe this. I still cannot believe this with that fucking camera. No way. And you can't tell me that is asset protection because you should not be looking at people in the fitting room. The camera should be on the outside. <laughs> And the way that it's angled, too. It can see right down into our fucking titties. No way. Oh, my gosh. All right, we got our goal. She wants to earn some money. She wants to have a party. And she wants to invite Emmy over. Oh, is that that girl we just saw? Well, look who's here. Dylan, and he's all over Ashley like a cheap suit. Where the fuck is he at? Where is he? Where is Dylan? Oh, my God. I'm fucking sick of this shit. No way. Oh my God. Mickey is sleeping with that fucking Agora bitch. And now Dylan is with some other fucking hoe. I can't fucking do this. Oh my God. Oh, he's going to regret that he ever came crawling back into my life. I'm going straight over there to show him that no one messes with Riley Harlow. We weren't trying to date him anyway. We were just trying to fucking ride his dick. And we did. So, I mean, we got everything that we needed. We got everything that we came for. Baby, this is what you came for. Oh, fuck you. Oh, no. No, no. We are not appreciating you. We are not talking to you. We are not even going to irritate you or flirt with you. Stop what you're doing and fight this fucking bitch. What should we do first? First thing we're going to do is we're going to poke him. Then we're going to shove him. And then we're going to Will Smith slap him. And then we're going to full on attack his ass. The triumphant return of Riley Black Eye Harlow. And she's going to get 1,000 aspiration points too. Look, she's on her way over like he does not even know I'm going to beat the living shit out of his ass and everything. You need to take your earrings out. Oh no. This is not going to end well at all. Oh, I need to get a screenshot of this. Oh, shit. Look at her face. All right, let's put the walls up and let's get the thumbnail. Look at that big ass fucking forehead. Damn. You can play tic-tac-toe on that shit. And those teeth. Look at those bottom teeth. You need a fucking orthodontist. Oh my God, her forehead is bigger than the rest of her fucking face. <laughs> Maybe it's just because her eyebrows are so low right now. Oh, this is like the perfect thumbnail. I want to get her in the background and him right here, but I can't get this damn camera to stay steady. There we go. There's our thumbnail. There's our thumbnail. I can't wait for this. Now I'm gonna smack the shit out of this fucking bitch too. Out of all people and you choose this fucking bitch? Really? Out of all people? Of course he goes for the blonde girl. Like look at us and then look at this fucking bitch. She looks at least like 30 years older than us. Her lips are dry as hell. She needs some fucking chapstick. Yeah, turn around, bitch. Fuck you. Why are you always flirting with other fucking people? What are you crying for, bitch? You had to all die to take some other bitch out on a fucking date and you were making excuses earlier. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. I don't cry me a fucking river and drown in it, bitch. We're not done. <laughs> I like how she cracked her fucking... <laughs> Whoa, bitch. I like how she like cracked her knuckles and everything before she fucking punched his ass. World star, world star, world star. Where the hell did this guy come from? Look, she's coming out here to fucking film it. <laughs> They're all watching. <laughs> One of them is just gonna pull out their phone and start screaming world star. Oh my gosh. Yeah, beat his ass. We fucking won too. You, oh, he cursed us. You have no idea how good you had it with me. You're gonna get it, Riley. You and that aunt of your, I wish you would touch me or my aunt bitch i wish the fuck you would you don't know me you don't know me i am not the one to be played with good riddance i didn't need scum like him around me anyway too bad i didn't see him for the dog he was until too late he cost me what was most vulnerable in my life and he'll never be able to repay me for that and he'll never get pussy as good as mine anyway so fuck him why does he keep mentioning my aunt why do i feel like this is gonna go way deeper. Way deeper. He probably has a thing for my aunt. He was probably in bed with her fucking aunt. I can bet you he slept with her aunt too. Because Aunt Sharon's single. I don't think she's married to anyone, right? Didn't they mention that at one point? You're against fighting. Bitch, shut the fuck up. I'll 
smack you next. Hello, what is this? Dylan dropped his wallet during the fight. No, I predicted that. Didn't I say we were going to steal his wallet and buy shit with his money? No, I swear to God, I've never fucking played this before. I swear to God, I've never fucking played this. <laughs> this is insane. Well, I guess this is one way to start repaying me. I know what will make me feel better. Spending it right now? No, I swear to God, I did not know that. I swear to God, guys. I swear. Finder's keeper. So I have 2,000 simoleons that Pooch, I mean Dylan, dropped. What do I do? Spend it all right here and now... <laughs> This is gonna have some serious repercussions, guys. I know what's gonna fucking happen. I know what's gonna happen. He's gonna come back here, and he's gonna talk to the manager, and they're gonna look on the security tapes, and they're gonna see him dropping his wallet, and then they're gonna see us picking up his wallet, and then see us in here spending the money. Then he might even ask for the tapes from these cameras, and then they're gonna watch us spend all the fucking money of this. <laughs> My fucking god, this is insane. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna go ahead. Oh, we're gonna buy some good stuff. We're gonna buy some gym clothes so that we can stunt on him. That's what we're gonna do. Why did they take off her hair for this? Does she not, like, have a wig on when she's in these clothes? We don't even have many options. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna do that. Oh, let's do underwear. Let's use his wallet to buy some fucking lingerie. We own these two pairs right now. Yeah, we don't really even need any underwear, to be honest. What about formal? I know you're hungry, bitch. Just shut up. We'll have you eat in a minute. It. Jesus Christ. Buy something nice and expensive. There we go. $400. Let's add that to our cart. She's like, all right, I'll give you these simoleons. Thank you very much, ma'am. All right. What should we do next? What more do we want? Let's get the orange shirt. So we have $600. What else should we get? We'll get this one. Oh, I kind of like this purple button down. We'll get that one. Oh, and we'll get a little bit sexy. We'll get that one. I kind of like this flower, but we already own that one. Oh yeah, the angry sim. We're definitely an angry sim today. We are a mad woman. We really are. Oh, and let's get those shorts that we tried on earlier. Those were actually really cute. Yeah, let's get those. There we go. Yeah, let's get the light colored. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. You've already spent 600, right? So now we need 1400 more. There we go. Yeah, let's buy all the shit. We're basically buying everything in the store. <laughs> Thank you, woman. Thank you. I appreciate it. Wait, did we not buy everything? No, we didn't buy everything. We need to get more stuff, guys. We didn't even use it all. Let's get these red joggers. This should do it. I think we've probably spent it now. There we go. Well, I did say that I wanted Dylan to buy me some clothes. You did. You definitely did. And we definitely got what we wanted. Oh, no. Please, not here. My day is bad enough without me having to see the love of my life with Agora, the mule-faced woman. Wait, what? The love of my life with Agora? Mickey? I thought Mickey was dating Agora. The love of my- who's- who the fuck is the love of your life? Oh my god, the drama in this, the fucking tea, it is so hot, it is boiling, it is scorching. I have third degree burns from this shit. No way, didn't I predict, didn't I say we were gonna see them fucking making out here? I said we were gonna see them making out here, didn't I? It was foolish of me to get involved again with with that sleaze bucket Dylan while I had Mickey. This is too much for me to handle. So it's time to go home. Chapter eight, that two timing scoundrel. I almost believed him this time too well no more. At least I got a few teeth out of him. This makes the sting from losing Mickey even more painful though. What I'd give to have Mickey back. Oh my God, fuck that bitch. And you're probably with that blonde girl, the one that always made me down. She's so much older than me. She's everything I'm insecure about. No way! It's always the blonde girl. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. Out of all people you want to be with and you want to- Who are you? Oh, no. I want to fight this bitch now, too. Fuck you. Argue with her. Fucking underbite and everything. You want to praise them and congratulate them? Where the fuck are you at? Come here. I don't care that you're hungry, bitch. Argue. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm going to rob your ass. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to rob your ass. That's what I'm going to do. Nah, we're smacking Agora. We're starting drama today. That's what we're doing. Ow, 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 ow. 
Ow, bitch. Yeah, fuck you. Smack her. Yeah, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. All right, she wants to go home. We need to go home now before we fucking starve to death because she... <laughs> she's been complaining that she's fucking hungry for the past eight hours. She's gonna fucking die of starvation at this community lot. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this part here. This was definitely the juiciest part, the craziest part that we've had so far. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And in the next one, we'll have to see if there's more drama. Oh my God, why is her hunger dropping so fast? Come inside and make food quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Serve dinner. Make a chef salad. Yeah, we don't have time to like sit here and cook over the stove because she's probably gonna die of starvation before that fucking happens. Man, I was hoping a trip to the boutique would cheer me up. So why do I feel worse? Yeah, it's, it's gonna get worse before it gets better, girl. You're suffering what they call heartbreak syndrome. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. You're just gonna have to suck it up. Eat your salad. She's gonna need like fucking five salads like how we had at the beginning of this part having like four sandwiches <laughs> she's gonna need a million of these things oh no and she fell asleep in it too a face full of salad she was tired and everything guys she really was all right finish eating before we head to bed go grab another one as kia would say eat it up baby i love kia so much i really fucking love her let's i don't want to clean it up though because we might be able to eat more of that when we're done so when you're done eating that salad clean up all the plates holy shit she moves so quick i love you guys i will see you next time so long and happy simming and happy para living bye guys this video was brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. If you'd like to join my community over there, a link is below. Thank you for watching.